a Mature Patriot Two Busted Thumbs production. How many of you guys know who Jeremy Fielding is? How many of you guys know who Jeremy Fielding is? Jeremy has his own uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Jeremy has built a lot of his own uh, machine tools using spare parts he has retrieved from treadmills and washing machines and other items. Jeremy has taught me a lot about electric motors. The uh, humidifier you're looking at that I'm currently disassembling here, I picked up uh, next to the dumpsters at the uh, trash collection place. I've been talking with the guys at the dumpsters and and uh, they have uh, had some things there that I've wanted over the years and I always ask before I pick anything up that's setting out down there because those guys recycle the metal and stuff that's there and, and they make, make a little extra money off of it. so. You know, you don't mess with a man's rice bowl. This humidifier, dehumidifier has a fan and motor in it that if working will be the parts I need, the exact parts, to repair a another dehumidifier if I can't get this one up and running. You never know what might shut one of these things down. Here I'm starting to take the screws out of the outer metal casing. I've got a little Harbor Freight magnetic tray under that towel that I'm putting all the screws in. Say what you want to about Harbor Freight, but those little magnetic trays are one of the best things they have. As you can see, I'm wearing my Keith Finner hoodie that I recently purchased. I wanted to get, Keith has come up with some new logos and I wanted to make sure I got one of these before they get phased out if that's what he intends to do. There's a long story about that hoodie, but not time to go into it right now. Here I'm taking out some screws and I'm not I'm trying to do it by feel instead of getting down and looking because I'm having a neck issue right now. these uh, things once you get the screws out and you never know how many screws are in them where they're all located so at some point you you have to get down and look to make sure you've got them all out I normally keep a flashlight with me for this sort of thing and here I I'm, I've got all the screws out that I can see so it's probably just left up to the plastic that snaps into the metal casing. And if you can find those snaps, it's fairly easy to pop these things off without breaking them. But 
depending on the age of the plastic, sometimes they'll snap off the best you can do. And when that one popped off, I lost complete control of it. Hope I didn't break any of the wires there. The little module that I just pulled off, in case you've never seen inside a dehumidifier, is a humidity sensor. The newer dehumidifiers have that humidity sensor in there where you can set and select the level of humidity you want left in your room. I like the old ones. Less complicated, less things to tear up. I've got one I bought back in like 1990 that I'm still using. Has never given me a moment's problem. And it's just an old analog on off type uh, dehumidifier. This uh, poor man's heat gun, which is a sunbeam hairdryer that I bought at CARM, which is the Knox Area Rescue, Min Rescue Ministry sales store. People donate and then they sell that stuff uh, and raise money for the rescue ministry around Knox County. And what I'm explaining here is that doesn't matter if these things have been sitting out in the rain like this one had at the dumpsters. If you can take a hair dryer or whatever, heat gun, and dry these things out good before you ever run any electrons through them again, won't hurt them. I had a uh, TV given to me by a friend of mine. I did a small TV for a Game Boy for the grandsons. He gave me one that had been sitting under his uh, porch for three months. And I took it home and put it over a vent for the HVAC and let uh, warm, dry air blow through it, around it, over it for a month. And then I hooked that thing up and we used it for two or three years with that Game Boy before my wife decided the, the grandsons needed a better TV to play Game Boy on than that little 19 inch TV. But I've still got that TV sitting out in the shop. I'm gonna hook it up as soon as I can find me a VHS player and play my boxes of VHS tapes while I'm working in the shop. We've got some good movies in there that you can't find. Here is a slow motion product placement for Keith. That's something I'd never tried to do before. And it didn't turn out as good as I would like to, to have turned out. I'm using a um, I'm trying to remember the name of this uh, editing software I use, but the slow motion on it's not that good when you when you uh, cut it back past uh, reduce the speed by more than a hundred percent, it gets a little cranky. or fast forward it. That's what I meant was fast forward it by more than a hundred percent. If you go two times or three times fast forward, it, the, the fast forward is not smooth at all. Uh, neither is the sound or the audio. I'm shining a light on that um, fan looking at it again. This thing looks to be in surprisingly good shape. It's not dirty inside. Uh, no, de no debris to speak of in, in the uh, drip tray there. He 
here I'm about to find something a little unexpected. Whoa. I'll bring the camera over in a second here and show you what I found. Flashlight's a little bright for this, but there's a spider there. Now, normally spiders don't bother me because mainly what we have around the house are wolf spiders and other type of non-poisonous spiders, or at least non-poisonous to human. But that, my friends, is a black widow spider. And hopefully, in a few seconds, it will be a dead widow. Of course, you know that the female of the species is the one that carries the poison. wonder why that is. But that's how it gets its name as the black widow, because it kills the male after breeding and eats it. That's the capacitor and, and where all the controls are that runs down to this control uh, board here. It doesn't look to be too bad. Doesn't look like it's had any water damage or anything to it. There's some surface rust on that unit, but uh, nothing that is really damaging that I can see. Since I picked this unit up, I've been back down to the dumpsters. I didn't have any money on me the day I picked this up, so I went back by and um, tipped the old boy for for this one. And he had another one there that the individual that dropped it off told him it still worked. So I picked it up, brought it home with me. And if I can get it working, then I'm going to have one for my shop and another one to put down at my mother's house. My mom and dad are gone now, and we're trying to keep the house climate controlled until we can sell it. Be a nice piece of property for somebody. Since we all have our own places, it's not really... something we need to keep. My niece is thinking about buying it, but they don't know what time frame they would be able to sell their house. Anyway, that's a different matter. I'm going to take this uh, control board off a little heat on it before I do just to see if I blow any water out from around it. I'm not seeing anything so I'm going to take this out. Several screws in it but once I get it out I don't see any water still around it. And the panel like I say, it doesn't look to have any water damage. So I'm hoping it will be in good shape. Yes, you can see my lips moving in the video, but I'm not... Uh, going over all that I talked about during filming. I wish I had turned that hair dryer off at the start of filming. That way you all could have heard all my pearls of wisdom. <laughs> of course, I do tend to bloviate. 
during these. It's, it's like I'm having a conversation with friends when I do this. That's why I, I talk continually throughout the video. I'm going to have to take a lesson from my Ford boy and um, Richard at making something from nothing and just keep my mouth shut while I do the videos. Of course I, well, I go to lay the board up there so I don't damage it and wind up dropping it. So hopefully I didn't break anything. There's no water in, in that uh, behind the board, so I think it's in good shape. Put a little heat in there where the capacitor and, and the controls and stuff are to see if I can blow any water out from around behind anything. I don't see any, so. I didn't see any water in, in the drip tray there or in the bottom housing, so hopefully it didn't get a lot of water in it while I sat down at the dumpsters. Here I'm checking the fill level switch. Mechanically it seems to be functioning properly. I'm going to have to quit moving in front of the camera. So. Alright, that's enough for tonight. I've got some other things I'm going to do. What you doing, Patchy Poo? What you doing, old buddy? Come here. Hold on. Come here. Come here, Patch. He likes his treats. He is a treat eating machine. Stay in frame, buddy. You're all over the place. Let me pop this camera off here and go handheld. There you go. There's old Patch. That, that dog is the most overprotective dog I've ever seen.